Hi, my name is Mario Jantia, and welcome to my vlog. Um, let's see. I am starting to look into parts for my project, and I, I mean, I'm just literally maybe even less than scratching the surface of this. But it's, it's not really out there. Like what I need, I was hoping I could get like combo mix, some Arduino together and make something on my own. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I think I need, uh, I'll look into it some more. I'll give myself some time to look into it and, you know, just go down the rabbit hole. But at the moment, it seems like I might have to go straight to manufacturers, maybe on Alibaba or something. Or AliExpress, if they have it. Yeah, preferably, blah, preferably AliExpress, because I believe that's where they have uh, just a couple pieces they could order instead of buying in bulk. I don't know, maybe Alibaba has changed since then. But yeah, this this journey is going to be long and it kind of explains, I think, in some ways why it hasn't been done yet by others. And then it's going to get a little complicated. Um, I think I am going to cancel one aspect of my project initially. Um, and then I'll, um, look into it later. Ah, <sighs> I'm just tired, but hey, these videos are making me, uh, force myself to record. So thank you. Because it's very, um, Oh, damn it. I just realized I did something. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm... Um, instead of going to sleep, I'm extremely exhausted. I'm here filming. So thank you for that. And I'm not just staying up late to film, but also I stayed up late so that I could do some research so that I could actually talk about in this video and the conclusions I came up with that um, creating a projector from scratch using cheaper sources. Honestly, though, that, that may not be true. Yes, an initial Arduino is technically more expensive than, you know, just installing all the parts together. I was just hoping that a combined kit would help me better understand and learn programming and electronics and all that. But yeah, although I'm, I'm sure it's the same for anything and everything, the programming language. Anyway, who knows? No clue. That's why I'm here. I'm here to learn and figure things out. Uh, yeah, that's it with regards to that. Oh, there's a Blue Bright or Air Bright or something like that. There's a rocket company out of uh, Maine, the state of Maine, M-A-I-N-E. Um, that's planning to be, I guess, a type of Uber or something, launch, uh, machine, product, rocket. So that's kind of interesting. They are going to launch their own, um, they did, they had one launch. I think they tried for a second, but it was too cold. Negative 10 degrees was too low for their batteries. Um, they'll have to do a lot better than that if they uh, are to compete. 
still it's exciting it's a group of 10 people so far is my understanding and um different part of the world where you never expected that to happen you know you're always thinking south southeast or west coast but maine so i commend them on that that's exciting good for them okay so i was watching um while I was working today. Yeah, I did a lot of working today. End of the month, so there's a lot of stuff. Very exhausted, still not finished. Still much to do. Actually, I finished most of the critical stuff, I think. We'll see. Um, anyway, um, oh, so in the background, because the stuff I worked on this evening was just very, uh, um, repetitive i guess and it didn't require a lot of brain power it just it's very time consuming and while doing that uh, in some parts of those that task i uh was watching a nat geo documentary on uh uncovering underwater structures in cities like lost cities and that was really cool. But unfortunately, I was kind of bummed out because they did a thorough scan of um, it, it, these giant structures in um, in Japan. I think it's on the southern part of Japan. They dis Some guy discovered these structures while scuba diving years ago. And after doing a full 3D scan, found out that... Um, there's actually nothing there unfortunately so that was kind of a bummer um because it looked so cool like these giant structures and everything but once they did the 3d scan of the structure it just looks like a piece of stone uh that looks pretty natural versus uh it being man-made like a lost city or something so that's a bummer uh, but they did find like a small minuscule city in Greece and what else one was a city another one was in a city also in Greece and then uh, Gibraltar right between Gibraltar Strait there they did some 3d scanning there but it looked like there was never a major significant city there so overall it was kind of interesting but one city and then one, two, three, that weren't cities. Just natural structures. Uh, oh, and Starbucks is uh, planning on putting more uh, vegan options or plant-based, correction, plant-based, not necessarily vegan uh, options on their menu. I just hope that, I'm a big fan of plastics, but at the same time, I just hope that my biggest wish for Starbucks would be to for them to get rid of their plastic containers, not the straws, but the containers. I, I could care less about the straws. I know everybody's all caring about the straws and all that, but honestly, that's a lot of waste in those uh, plastic containers. And there are a lot of Starbucks uh, drinks out there. So I wish that, uh, they would move to something that could tolerate the high heat of their coffee and not be styrofoam and not be a plastic coated cardboard box and not be a plastic container, but something that's extremely biodegradable. And yeah, so who knows? We'll see. I, I I mean, I care, but I don't care. I care when I see, like, my wife drinking Starbucks once in a blue moon. But I really... It's not my place, I guess. But it's kind of hypocritical. Like, they're big on environment, on people and society and this and that. But they're probably, like, such a huge consumer of uh, plastic. So, whatever. All right, well, my name is Marian Jantia. Good night.